Meanwhile, the former chairman of the National Human Rights Commission Governing Council, Professor Chidi Odinkalo, has challenged the validity, the validity of the NGO bill. Professor Odinkalo, who was also on Sunrise Daily today, says the National Assembly's argument that the bill is meant to check terrorism and other crimes under the guise of the NGO activities holds no water. He pointed out that most of the people who have been indicted for aiding and abetting terrorism are in government and not members of civil society groups or the non-governmental organizations. In 2011, the federal government set up the Gaji Galti Marie Commission, uh, uh, um, panel into the insecurity in the Northeast. The Gaji Galti Marie panel reported in September 2011 and what they found was that the people who were fund sponsoring Boko Haram were in government. They were in politics. They were identified. There was a white paper issued on the Gaji Galtimari Committee report. Nobody has been brought to book. Those people are still there in government. Now, people will come and bring up all this red herring about civil society terrorists, and you really want to believe it. Yes? But... That is not just nonsense, it is certifiable nonsense. And I'll ask you a question. If there is a responsible government and it actually has evidence that people are masquerading as civil society to perpetrate terrorist activities, what would it do? Would it not shut them down? You need a new law to shut them down? Is that exactly the point? That does not make sense.